So we're going to talk this morning about holding up your hands. And so we find at the beginning of this story, God tells Moses, go send Joshua out to fight this battle. But as he's fighting it, you must keep your hands raised. And I don't know about you, but I think sometimes in life, what God is looking for from you and I is a life that says, I will keep my hands raised. Because the act of raising your hands is more than just God saying, Moses, keep your hands raised. In Moses keeping his hands up, he is declaring that God is good. He's declaring that God is fighting for him. And Moses at this point is so tired that he's, he's not just put his hand, like his hands want to come down, but he's actually had to sit because I'm guessing he's been standing for a really long time. And so now he's sitting on a rock and he's down and he's like, I'm so tired. I can't do this anymore. And God sends Aaron and her to hold up his hands. And so this week was one of those weeks where where I was just like, I don't know if I can do this fight anymore. And Anthony came. Where's Anthony? Can I help help me out, bro? And he held up this arm. Teach. And he held up this arm. That's how we don't give up. There will come times in your life where you want to let go and you would just want to throw in the towel. But if you are surrounded with people who will hold up your hands, you can't quit. And I came to tell somebody this morning that's ready to walk out on your family or walk out on your kids or walk out on your spouse or walk out on your business because it's gotten so hard that God does not want you to quit. What he wants to do is send you some Aaron and hers to hold you up so you can continue pressing towards the goal that he set in front of you so you can continue building his kingdom loving your family like you're called to love loving your your children loving your spouse like you've been called to do it if you're ready to throw in the towel don't throw down your arms call some people around you